into the city to pick this up. This is uh, the new dashboard from Haltech. Chucked in a, uh, a Haltech t shirt. It's pretty cool. Thanks, Haltech. And then we have the, the box. Hmm. So, please read help Haltex trading terms and conditions before opening. Conditions before opening. Uh, Re stocking fee. Apply the seal is broken. The seal looks very much broken. Anyway, here we have it. <coughs> Some instructions. Have the uh, the wiring for it. Oh, actually, the reason the seal is broken is because they added in a um, connector to the Motec. <coughs> so um, that was very good of them. So that's why the seal was broken. So if you buy one, you wouldn't have a broken seal on your box. That's the bit that is added in. So that's awesome. That plugs into what I've already got on the Motec. So that's that bit. Um, so a uh, software setup. Just a USB cable. Well, look at that. And uh, another connector. I'll, oh, I'd say um, fused power supply. I'd say. It's only hand tighten only. Okay, so they are obviously the mount bolt pack. Got myself some stickers, very good. And <coughs> there it is. Very nice. So we better go and have a look in the car and see how that is going to go together. But uh, really nicely packaged looks very professional and uh, I can only say how helpful the guys at a guy called Scott actually was really really helpful at Haltech especially discussing the um, <coughs> adaption to the Motec so that was uh, really really good because uh, I didn't want to get it and then find out it couldn't be adapted to the Motec anyway I might just put it in the car and have a look So that looks about where it will sit. I'll have it there, I can still, actually it's the fuel gauge still works. The only thing on the dashboard that does work, the original dashboard, is the fuel gauge. So I'll be able to see that there. I can lift that if I need to. I might even have it up here, I'm not sure. But you get the general idea. Yeah, so this is the dash, just from the other side. Uh, as I said before, well, I didn't say before. The um, the fuel gauge is over there, which the original fuel gauge is the only thing that still works on the original dash, which is good. Um, the temp temperature doesn't, and the uh, obviously the temperature will be come through the the Haltech dash anyway. So. That's sort of it from the side. I'll have to make a mount. Um, not sure what I'll use yet, but we'll just make a mount to suit it. I have actually had a bit of a cleanup of the shed. Got uh, 
tools more organized and so on, which is good. <coughs> Eventually if we're sitting down and working things out and then of course the uh, rally car itself. Okay, I have to make a mount for the Haltec dash and um, I didn't get a, a um, template with the dash but inside the actual box is the foam at the back that the dash is packed in so and it actually fits over there as you can see so what I'm going to do is I'll take that foam and I'll use the foam as a template and I'll cut that out, I'll mark that out Now we'll just cut the centre of it out. We could actually cut this bit a bit bigger because it's not imperative being exactly this size. Now we've got that, we'll take our, our Motec, no it's not a Motec, our Haltec dash and I'll put the template over the dash. What I need now is the bolt holes to uh, do the mounting so put it over, rub your fingers over those the bolt hole points, three of them, give them a good push in and you have three positions. I'll actually just mark them so I can see them when I punch them out. So, take that piece of wood, hollow punch, and we'll get some holes happening. There we have one template. Okay, that's my paper one. And um, while you all weren't looking, I went and made myself a cardboard one, which is just exactly the same process of making the paper one. So there we are. So take the dash, and that goes, fits over, and there we have. There we have a uh, template to fit. Uh, it fits better that way, okay. There we go. As you can see, it's a, I don't know, some sort of cereal box. But there's the template cut that I can now, I'll go and make that in aluminium now. Okay, there's the mount bolts or the mount studs. We'll get them out. And then our template goes on there. I'll just put some, I'll put the nuts on it. 
And now I can actually mark the position I will do a bend at. So I'll just mark the bottom of the, the Haltech dash. So here we have one Motec dash mount which I'll go and organise to work it into the dashboard. Today we're moving on to the Haltech dash installation. We've got Theo here who's uh, doing electronic work for us and uh, the dash and so on's laid out there. I showed you building that template before. I'm going to go and move on and continue building that template uh, while Theo just keeps moving on with wires. So there's my template and I'm going to be cutting this out of a piece of 2 mil two aluminium sheet. So there's our aluminium um, mount, there's the template, and that, uh, that looks pretty good. The fold, I'll have to put the fold in here, and then that'll, well actually that side will be the side I'm going to use, um, so we folded back that way. Uh, I'm going to, I can't test it against the dashboard because Theo's got the dashboard in the car and I can't get to it. Okay, this is uh, a the Haltech uh, download program and it's totally raw, so we've not put anything in it at all and there's no data in here at all that's come, uh, no configuration data at all coming off the uh, uh, of the Haltech um, speed. 
uh, in the, that's in, already installed in the car. So what we'll do is we'll plug the laptop into the Haltech and we'll download the data off it, configure the data and then write it back into the system. So, uh, okay, um, here, go for it, Theo. Whoa, have a look at that. Fantastic. Awesome. Okay, I'm installing uh, device drivers um, from the Haltech into the laptop. Um, we're going to match the two together and then we'll be able to talk to the um, Haltech via the software. Just wait for that to happen. It normally takes five minutes or so.